Stratford, Stratford, hear the word of God. It is time for every one of you to hear God's word. We are living in a period of times, but many people are blind. We are living in the last days. Last days and perilous times. And God want everybody to hear his word. God want the children to hear his word. Wicked every single day. And the Bible 
saying that wicked will go to hell. And every nation that forsake God. All the nations that forsake God. And the wicked will go to hell. Unless they repent. But the Bible says, once we were sinners, Christ died for us. We all deserve to go to hell according to the scriptures. We deserve to be condemned to hell. But once we were sinners, Christ died for us. We all deserve to go to hell. But Jesus took our place. Of sin he never committed. Jesus Christ was holy, he was perfect, he was without sin, but he took our place. Christ died for all of us. Jesus Christ paid the debt of our sins.
wicked and corrupt. And they will destroy with fire and so forth. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Repent and forsake your sin. The Bible says those who claim that they have no sin, they deceive themselves. And the truth is not in them. Any man or woman that claims that they have no sin, you are deceiving yourself. And the truth is not in you. Unless you humble yourself. Unless you admit that you are a sinner. Unless you confess your sins unto Jesus. Unless you accept Jesus Christ in your heart as your Savior and your Lord. He will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Fear God. And obey his commandments. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, and that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life only through Jesus. The only name that you can be saved is by the name of Jesus Christ. The name that is exalted in heaven yes. and on this earth is the name of Jesus. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Heaven is passing away. The earth is passing away. But the word of God will not pass away. In the beginning the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word became flesh and dwelt among men Emmanuel God is with us Emmanuel God is with us Ebenezer how far God has brought us Jesus Christ. The Bible says, What is a profit for you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? The Bible says, Every soul that sinned shall die. Every soul that sinned shall die.
Bible say God is not willing that anybody should perish. It is never the will of God. It is not God's will that anybody should perish. The will of God is for you to repent and turn from your sin. Worldly sorrow leads to death. Worldly sorrow leads to death. But godly sorrow leads to repentance and unto salvation. The judgment of God is at hand. God's judgment is at hand. And God will use Jesus Christ to judge the whole world in righteousness. Jesus 
is the light of men. Today, we are here to warn everybody. Because God is going to punish all the people who do not know him. God will punish the people who do not believe in the gospel. There is a room for the pedophiles. There is a room at the cross of Christ for gun bangers. There is a room at the cross of Christ for homosexuals. If only they repent and turn from sin and their wicked ways. Today is the day of salvation. The Bible says, Come, God is calling you. God is calling you. Come and let us reason together. Jesus wants to reason together with everybody. He said, Even though your sins are like a scarlet, even though your skins are like a crimson, they will turn white as a wool. Because of the power in the blood of Jesus. Because of the power in the blood of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. We are not called to be Islam. We are not called to be Catholics. We are not going to be Mormons. We are not going to be Jehovah Witness. You are right, brother. Tell them. Hallelujah. If you follow Islam, you are deceived. You are deceived. You are right. Hallelujah. You follow a man that receive a message from an angel. That is a curse. But Jesus said you must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born in the spirit and in the water. Yes, you are right, brother. We are here to expose all religions. Hallelujah. Preacher. We are not going to be Jehovah's Witness. No. We are not going to be Roman Catholic. No. We are not going to be Islam. No. We are not going to be Mormons. No. We are not going to be Krishna. We are not going to be Hindus. No. The word of God is truth. Yes. And only the truth can set you free. Yes. John 17, 17, it says, sanctify them with thy truth. Yes, thy word brother. is the truth. Yes, brother. Hallelujah. Jesus is the truth. Yes, you are right. Jesus is the way. Yes, brother. Jesus is the light of the world. Yes, brother. The only hope for all my kind is Jesus Christ. Your religion will not save you. You are right. Hallelujah. Bowing down a green beard will not save you. <laughs> Today Turner. people claim that when they have a long beard, they, they, are, they are part of Jesus. Yes. No. No. You can have a long beard. That does not make you holy. No. <laughs> Preach out, brother. Having a long beard does not mean you look like Jesus. And God is the truth. Yes. Uh, Wake up from your slumber. Uh, Wake up from your slumber. Yes, sir. And redeem the time. For the days are evil. Yes. Your soul is precious to Jesus. Amen. The wicked will go to hell. Every nation that forsake God. They will go to hell. Tell them the truth. Today, young boys went to be girls. And young girls want to be boys. This is a confusion from the devil. You are right. If you are born as a boy, you are a boy. You are a boy. If you are born as a girl, you are a girl. You are a girl. It is approved by your DNA. Yes. Okay. Regardless of how you change your sex, you remain a boy as a boy. A girl as a girl. Hallelujah. All this hype you are creating, men 
are changing their sex, women are changing their sex, but your DNA will prove who you are. You can change your sex, but your DNA will prove you wrong. Today the schools are telling you, just be who you want to be. You can change your sex as you much as you can. No, God is not the altar of confusion. LGBTQ+, plus is an abomination, it's an abomination. and it's not from God. You're right. So now look in the street, the young people are confused. They are confused. You see a boy dressed like a woman, woman dressed like a man, that is a total confusion from Satan, because Satan is the altar of confusion. You're right, brother. God created male and female, Hallelujah. and God honest marriage.
In the name of Jesus Christ. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in you. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. By the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confirm. Yes. We rebuke that spirit inside you. We rebuke that spirit inside you. We command every spirit in you to come out. We command that spirit in you to come out. You evil spirits, by the name of Jesus Christ, come out of this man. In the name of Jesus. Because God loves you. 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 The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. Jesus 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 loves you. Yes, it loves you. Jesus loves you. He loves you. The Lord loves you. He died for your sins. Christ died for your sins. He was buried and it rose again on the third day. Jesus conquered the devil. Jesus wants to set you free. So you may be free. Jesus wants to set you free. Jesus wants to set you free. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. It's above, it's above, it's above every evil spirit in you. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Is above every other name. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we You're pray rebuked. by the name of Jesus. You evil spirit, spirit. manifested in this man. Come out. We command you in the name of Jesus come to go. Out. We spirit. command we that evil spirit, spirit inside you. Come out. You come out in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are found. Um, in the name of I Jesus Christ. No, no, it's here. In the name of Jesus. It's here. Jesus oh, Christ come is the way. The one truth and the life. One of our brothers take it. Yeah, one of what our brothers take it. Yes, you see, the evil, you evil spirit, I command you. I command you. I command you to go. Come out of this land in the name of Jesus. Today is the day of salvation for you. Today is the day of salvation. Oh. Right. You are torment. You are torment. And Jesus wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. He is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. We have responsible pension options like our impact. Jesus is the light of the world. You know what, brother? Uh, this one, Tristy. Praise God. Hallelujah. He 
in St. John chapter 3 and verse 16, the Bible tells us, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is a condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light. The devil is tormenting him. The devil is tormenting the guy. I've seen him, he run over a lady here. The lady was on the ground and he was going to over. He was going to hit that tree. Because pastor was inside that thing. It's because he was the devil burst. Yeah, but he using the machine. Yes, he was going to throw him on the ground. And it is actually an appointment with God. There is eternal life and there is eternal judgment. 
of destruction. In this life, we are given 70 years. The Bible says we are here for three, four years and ten. And if we live longer than 70 years, the Bible says it will be by reason of pain. If we live longer than 70 years, if our years be four score, it will be by reason of pain. I want to tell you something. No matter how long you try to survive, no, longer, no matter how long you try to live, you might go to the gymnasium every single day. So you may take those blood pressure tablets, those heart tablets to keep your heart ticking. I'm going to tell you, the word of God has to be fulfilled. You see, I want to tell you something, that God created a perfect world. When God created the world, he looked at every single thing that he had created, and he said, behold, it was good. The reason why there are wars, the reason why there are famines, the reason why there is destruction in this land, the reason why there is unhappiness, the reason why people have no peace of mind is because of sin. The Bible tells us in the Proverbs, righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach unto any people. The Bible tells us in Ezekiel chapter 18 that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. So no matter how long you try to live or how much you try to persuade yourself that Elon Musk will save you when he revamps the moon and moves human life to the moon. Elon Musk cannot save you. Elon Musk cannot prevent you from dying. Let me tell you something. Muhammad Ali had a saying, and Muhammad Ali would say, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest. Muhammad Ali boxed George Foreman in Zimbabwe, and they called it the rumble in the jungle, the greatest fight of all time. And Muhammad Ali used to shout out and say, I am the greatest, I am the greatest. Muhammad Ali created a song and he said, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, he floats like a butterfly, but he stinks like a bee. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, he talks to the other guy. In our oh, Ali, catch me if you can. But one day, Chief Death caught up with Muhammad Ali. He was given a left undercut by Jesus Christ and Muhammad Ali went to the grave because from death every person has an appointment that they have to keep and it's an appointment with death. Let me tell you something, your good looks, your money, your wages, your status in life, you know I cannot stop you from dying and going to hell. In First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5, the Bible tells us, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Let me tell you something. In my life, I will are never of see this many before. Many people scorn Satanists. Many wow. people scorn witches. They scorn what warlocks, and they say to them, they are people to be feared. But I yes. tell you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, you are a Satanist. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are a Satanist. Because if you live after the things that Satan tells you to do, and if you do the things that Satan tells you to do, when the people have given their souls over to Satan, if you lie, if you steal, if you commit adultery, if you lust after men or women, if you commit, commit. If you have any other God before God, if God is not your God, if you have idols, if you take the name of your Lord, of the Lord God in vain, you are a Satanist. And this is what Jesus Christ has to say about Satan. In St. John chapter 10, verses 10 and 11, Jesus said the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy.
joy. But Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more Sister, careful. Let me tell you something. You might have money. You may have a lot of money in your pocket. You may have good Look at that. You may have a lot of friends. Careful, sister. But I tell you something. That if you do not have Jesus, you have nothing. I want to tell you something. That life is totally empty without Jesus. Let me tell you, there is only so much that the drinks can do. There is only so much that the drugs can do. There is only so much that the alcohol can do. You can many people go and have a fix or they have a one night stand. And then when they return home in the morning or wake up the following morning, life continues as normal. Many people go and get involved in their court, into witchcraft, and into black magic, and into these terrible things because they're trying to find out their spirituality. But I want to tell you something. When you come to know Jesus, and when you meet Jesus, he'll provide you with the best spiritual experience that you could ever have. Because Jesus reaches the parts that nothing else in this world can reach. I can tell you something. There is a place in your spirit. There is a place in your heart. There is a place in your mind that only Jesus Christ can fulfill. Can fulfill. There's a void in your spirit. There's a void in your mind. There's a void in your inner man that only Jesus Christ can fill. It's, many people are looking for a way to peace. Many people are looking for a way to happiness. Many people are looking for a way to satisfaction. Many people are looking for a way. But it's set in Proverbs 16 and verse 25. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the ends thereof are the way of death. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 25 tells us there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof are the way of death. You might think that what you are doing is right, but it all leads to death without Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Jesus Christ said all that ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. I want to tell you something. It's time to repent. The Bible said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. The Bible said, they ate, they drank, they married, they gave into marriage until the flood came and took them all away. Let me tell you something. The skyscrapers cannot save you from the judgment of God. I remember many years ago, I watched a movie, a documentary about the red button, about what could possibly happen in a nuclear exchange. And many people said they jump in their cars and they just keep driving and they will drive and drive and drive their car trying to escape. Some said they'd hide under a table or they'd go into the basement of their flat to escape a nuclear exchange. Many people are fearing Putin. Many people are afraid of World War III. But let me tell you something. World War III is nothing in comparison to the judgment that Jesus Christ is going to bring on an unrepentant world. World War III will seem like cotton buds in, in, in comparison to what the Lord Jesus Christ is going to do when he judges this world of sin. Only those who have surrendered their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. In St. John chapter 3, in St. John, in John chapter 3, Jesus said, verse 3, except a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, 
and that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Jesus said, marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. In, Matthew, in Acts 2 verse 38, the apostle Peter said, repent ye therefore every one of you. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, that your sins may be blotted out. We need to repent of our sins. We need to be baptized in water. We need to ask God to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let me tell you something. Nothing can cleanse you from your sins but the blood of Jesus. I know people who are feeling drugs in prostitution and adultery. I know people who have smoked drugs, taken alcohol. I know one man who had actually killed 354 people. I know a man, a Caribbean man, who killed 354 people. But when he met Jesus Christ, he gave up the gangster life. He gave up the woman. He gave up the wine. He gave up the son. He gave up the murders. He gave up the killing and committed his life to Jesus Christ. Because it's not only Jesus Christ that can change you on the inside. Many people go and they sit down in front of psychologists. They sit down in front of counsellors. They sit down in front of uh, all of these people that talk, talk in therapies. And years later, they are still sitting down in front of these people because they are unable to change. Not long ago, a young man went for counselling and he sat in front of the counsellor and after the counsellor had told him and spoken to him and done his therapy the man stripped his clothes off went up to a high building and threw himself out and committed suicide because I want to tell you nobody can heal the inner man but Jesus Christ and him crucified nobody can heal the wounded broken spirit but Jesus Christ and he crucified. Let me tell you something. God is going to judge the UK because of her sins. God used the UK in the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, and 20th century to spread the gospel throughout all the world. They know what is right and they know what is wrong and they have departed from God. And this is possibly the reason why the Russians are coming. This is possibly the reason why we've gone bankrupt. This is possibly the reason why at least seven local authorities have declared bankruptcy and many more are in line to declare bankruptcy. Because I want to tell you something, sin destroys. I want to tell you something, Satan has never been known to be kind. Because Satan is a liar, Satan is a thief, Satan is also the father of lies. When Satan tempted Adam and Eve in the garden, he said, if you eat of the fruit of the tree, you shall be as God's, knowing the, knowing the difference between right and wrong. Satan said to Eve, you will not die. But I tell you, Satan had been proved a liar from the very first time he opened his mouth to the human race. He has been proved a liar. Because 930 years after Satan told Adam that he would not die, Adam was dead. Let me tell you something. Satan has got nothing good to offer you but sin, shame and disgrace. A good friend of mine said that he served Satan for 24 years and all he got was a blank check. Because Satan has got nothing to offer you. All the things that Satan has in his pocket and in his arsenal are stolen. Many people today open many, many bank accounts. Many people save with Barclays. Many people save their money with Santander. Many people save their money with NatWest. Some people save their money with a co-op. Even Tesco's and Sainsbury's have their own bank. But I, I'd advise you to save with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is able to save your soul, spirit, mind and body. In St. Luke chapter 19 and verse 10, the Bible says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. In St. Luke chapter 19 
The Bible talks about a man called Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a publican. He was a tax collector. And how it worked in those days, how it actually worked in those days, is that the tax collectors would collect taxes for the, for the, for the Roman Empire. They would collect taxes for the state. And then on top of collecting the taxes for the state, they put, a, they, they put a little bit of increase on top of the taxes to top up their salary. And Zacchaeus had been doing that. Now Zacchaeus heard about Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus heard that Jesus Christ had turned water into wine. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus Christ had fed 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes. Zacchaeus even heard that Jesus Christ had walked on water. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus Christ had cast spirits out with his word. Zacchaeus had actually heard that Jesus Christ rose lashes from the dead. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus Christ was surviving without a bad cup out. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, cast the demons out of the demonic. Zacchaeus had heard all the miracles that Jesus had done. You know, the first miracle that Jesus did, he turned water into wine. Water that has no substance, no flavor, no spirit. Jesus turned water into wine. And so Jesus was going into the town of Zacchaeus and Jesus was, and Zacchaeus wanted to meet Jesus because he wanted to see who Jesus Christ actually was. Because Zacchaeus could not find peace until he met Jesus Christ, who is the Prince of Peace. And of the United Nations has been trying to bring about peace for 70 years. But I tell you, there will never be peace until Jesus Christ comes and oh. puts in his appearance. Where the United, where the League of Nations have failed, and where the United Nations has failed, Jesus Christ will not fail. At the moment, there is a terrible war going on in Gaza. There is a terrible fighting going on in Palestine. But I tell you, Jesus Christ will come and put an end to all wars because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And I want to tell you something. Your life is precious. Your life is precious in the eyes of Jesus. Jesus loves you. I don't want you to listen to what anybody else says. I don't care if the Israeli man hates you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus gave his life for you. And if you were the only person in this world, Jesus will still come and die for you. Jesus has said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. Let me tell you something. Buddha cannot save anybody because Buddha is a man himself. Confucius cannot save anybody because Confucius was a man himself. In the army in Africa, in the army in Uganda, tried to bring out a new system and his system fell. And as he tried out to bring out his new system, many people died. But I want to tell you something. Even the prophet, prophet Muhammad said he has no assurance of salvation. He didn't even know where he himself was going to die, go when he died. But Jesus Christ offers you that assurance. Jesus offers you that assurance of salvation today. And Rob, Jesus loves you, my friend. Jesus loves you, my friend. You are the apple in Jesus' eye. Let me tell you something. Say you, I say I love Jesus. Me, I love Prophet Isa. I love Jesus. I love Prophet Isa. Say Jesus. I love Prophet Isa. Say Jesus. The same. Say Jesus. What's Jesus? Jesus. I love Prophet Isa. Say Jesus. Isa before Prophet Muhammad. Who is Jesus? He's the Bible said in Isaiah 9 6, For unto me. us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And the Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, And if thou shalt confess with thy mouth 
the Lord Jesus and shall believe in my heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is better. I love you, my brother. You're my brother. I love you, my brother. Are you actually aware that God has created you in his image and in his likeness? Are you actually aware that you do not come from a monkey? God made you in his image. Listen. Yes. That's correct. God, God has made you. Hey, hey, Dave, Dave. God has made you and God has made me. Careful, in his image and in his likeness. And let me tell you something. God loves you and he wants you to go to heaven. God is blocking your way from going down. Yes, you want, want to damage to people. Right. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Allah Prophet Isa. Say Lord Jesus. Allah Prophet Isa. Say Jesus. Allah Prophet Isa. Say Jesus. He's not Jesus. Say Jesus. His name is Isa. Say Jesus. Do I have to call him? Say Jesus. Isa. Say Lord Jesus. Our Lord name is not Isa. Our Lord name is Jesus. Say Lord Jesus, I love Prophet Isa. I ask you, I love, I love Prophet Isa. So I ask you to come into my life. Listen, Jesus is our only hope. Like there me. is the, Jesus, Jesus, God, Jesus came to represent God. He came to earth to represent God. Jesus Christ, my friend, listen to me. He loves you. He died for you. Listen, say to him, say, he died for you. Listen, 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 listen. For sin, listen to me, my friend, for sin. The Bible said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God does not want you to die and go to hell, my friend. But the Bible says that there is only one mediator between God and man. First Timothy 2 and verse 5. For there is one mediator. A mediator is somebody. Let me give you an example. That is you. This is God. And this is a mediator. The Bible said there is one me. You've got there's only one spokesperson for you between you and God. Nobody can approach God directly. Jesus there is, Lord. There, yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're Jesus right. She said Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. He doesn't want you to die and go to hell, my friend. Do you know all of the Bible, all of the Bible, my friend, the whole Bible was written in the Middle East. The whole of the Bible was written in the area they now call the Middle East. Jesus came to your people before he came to us. And I want to tell you something. God sent Jesus into the Middle East because he loves the people of the Middle East. The Apostle Paul preached in Syria. He went to Damascus. The Apostle Paul went to Lebanon. The Apostle Paul went to the majority of the era. We now call the Middle East. Jerusalem. He was there and he brought the gospel. Jesus Christ wants peace. He came to, be, to, to settle our account with God. And the Bible said, and if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Please, please, don't go away. Jesus is our only hope. Don't go away. Please, my brother. Please. Listen, listen, listen. Do you pray? Do you pray? Do you pray? Do you pray to your people? You do pray to your people. Well, ask God Almighty in the name of Jesus to help your people. I am praying for your people. Because I don't No, you can't go directly to God, my friend. There's a the Bible says there's one, there's only one God, my friend. There's one God and there's one media. There's one spokesperson between you and God and that's Jesus. Please, please, you need Jesus. There is no other way. Jesus said, my friend, as much as I love you, I have to tell you the truth. Jesus said, I am the Hallelujah, way to no man you. cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the door. And all that ever came before me were thieves and robbers, yes. but the thieves, but the sheep yes. did not hear me. Yes. In Matthew chapter 20, in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, 
am I better than this life? You know, when a person is living in sin, Satan gives you a lot of load to carry. He gives you a, a very heavy briefcase to carry of hate, of bitterness, of lust, of malice. Come on. When a person is living in sin, he gives you a very heavy bag to carry. You see, this here is a bag. You see, this is a bag, yeah? And this bag is very, very heavy. When you are living in sin, Satan gives you a bag full of lust, full of adultery, full of fornication, full of lying, full of stealing, full of, full of women dressing in tights, trying to make themselves look like a sugar dumpling. Amen? Come on, somebody say amen. amen. He gives you a bag full of junk to carry. Is that right? Yes. He makes you, he gives you a bag full of lies. But Jesus said, come on to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And the yoke of Jesus and the burden of Jesus is love. The Bible says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus laid down his life for you and for me. In Romans 5 and verse 7 and 8, the Bible tells us that scarcely for a righteous man would one die, yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God, but God what? But God what? But God what? Commended his love. But God commended his love to order. In that world, we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So Zacchaeus was a tax collector, but he was also a thief. So he collected the money for the Romans, and he collected a little bit for his pocket on the side. He heard about the miracles of Jesus. How Jesus, in John chapter 2, his first miracle turned water to wine. Come on. He also heard about Jesus Christ rumble in the jungle. How Jesus Christ took on Satan without an AK-47, without a knife, and without a dagger. Jesus took on Satan without a pair of boxing gloves. Jesus took on Satan without swearing and cursing. Jesus had gone for 40 days and 40 nights without food and water, without hallelujah. And Jesus was in the wilderness with a wild beast. And the Bible said that after 40 days, Jesus Christ was hungry and the tempter came to him that was Satan. You know they say, come on big boy, God bless you. You know they say, when Muhammad Ali was going to fight George Foreman, it was the biggest recorded fight in history. Everybody was going out to believe in Jesus, Zaire or Zimbabwe to watch that fight. And then there was a big build up to that fight and they called that fight the rumble in the jungle. They call that fight the rumble in the jungle. Hallelujah, somebody say amen. amen. They did not know how strong Muhammad Ali was until George Foreman fought him. George Foreman, after the fight, he said he didn't know Muhammad Ali had so much strength. It was called the rumble in the jungle, the clash of the titans. Yes. But I want to tell you something. When Jesus met Satan in the wilderness, it was the clash of the titans. Jesus was there and Satan was there. Jesus had no had God in his corner and Satan had Satan in his corner. But Jesus had to fight off Satan alone. So Jesus had been without food and without water and without drink for 40 days and 40 nights. He had nothing. He was in the wilderness, in the heat. A friend of mine, my beloved Pastor Gordon, a friend of mine, her husband, they lived near to where I was living. He tried to do fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He tried to do it. And you know